upcoming. So I'm going to explain to you guys what it is and how it works. So as you can see, this is the first track. So let's say you want to record on this track, on this very track. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Alex and it is Monday, it's music new video and in today's audition tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to record and use a multi-track. So basically a multi-track is actually so you have a lot of options like you have a lot of tracks like underneath it so you have one, you have as many tracks as you want underneath each other so you can you know record separate things so you have a track for music, you have a track for sound effects, you have a track your voice for me for sound you know for anything that you guys can imagine it's really easy though so I would say let's get started okay so as you can see the first thing is when you boot up uh, audition cs6 is this just this gray screen and in order to start using multi-track it's pretty simple you just want to go to the corner and you want to click on multi-track in this screen you need to name your project so you want to give the name so the session name is just let's say tutorial the folder location is just in the audition folder we want to leave everything uh, down here as it is um, so you can record it and then this pops up so I'm going to explain to you guys what it is and how it works so as you can see this is the first track um, so let's say you want to record on this track on this very track you just want to click your default stereo input device which is your microphone this is just a Samsung CO1U Pro microphone I'm going to pick this one the output is just going to be my speakers so I'm going to click on stereo and my speakers and now we're set for the first um, track so if you want to record your voice or something just click on aim for record and as you can see the sound waves are popping up and to start recording you just want to press this little icon and now it's recording as you can see though so this is the voice that i'm recording right now um so yeah i'm showing i'm going to show you guys the rest of the, the you know all the multi-track uh, sessions all right so let's say that's our you know our um our vocal track let's say we want to have this second track for sound effects so you can just um pick your stereo you don't need to pick your microphone because you're not gonna record yourself this is just for music or sound effects but you do want to pick your uh speakers otherwise you won't hear anything so that's set for this part so you can add music on this all right so you, you can bring up the volume as you can see by this um little knob you can just move it down and then that just adjusts the sound or you can just type it in i'm just gonna leave it on zero because that's leveled if you want to edit the track and you don't want to play everything at once you can press on s which means solo the entire track of that is just playing no you won't hear anything else than just that track so that's for actually for like doing specific aud uh, audio editing if you want to uh, like mute a track from everything press on this little m which says mute and then it's muted and then you cannot hear that track so i'm just gonna unmute it real quick and as you can see we have a lot of tracks and of course you can add more tracks and stuff if you need it but i don't know this is just um the recording let's say recording this one this is for music this is for sound effects you can choose whatever you want with this so that's basically how you edit with multi-track if you want to add like specific audio part if you want to zoom in on a specific track like on a specific part you just want to click where you want it you want to hold control and you can scroll up that's really gonna you know make it really big so you can edit like specific audio parts as add i just wanted this out and then when you zoom out by holding control and scrolling down you edited the audio part so basically that's how simple it is so and to switch back and forth between tracks because if you have a lot of tracks and you're underneath it you can just click somewhere on those tracks and you can scroll down and up so that's how you can check your tracks so basically so that's how simple it is guys so if you want to see more of those other editions see a six tutorials every monday and friday at 12 p.m psd make sure to smash that like button down below i want to thank you guys for watching and if you want to see more make sure to subscribe down below as well i'll see you guys tomorrow for an OBS tutorial and on Friday for the last episode of this week from Adobe Audition. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So until then, I will see you guys very soon. In about uh, four episodes, it's going to be the 22nd of May and then I have to find something else. When I started using video editing software, it was like, I have my own Patreon page. You have fucking trolled. Channelpages.com. Kind of nice weather. And I'm a tight with just Alex Halford. You know, yes. it's his channel, so that's a bit of a logic.